My mom used to te tease me all the time, telling me that um, I almost killed her giving birth to her get, when she gave birth to me. And I and I would tease her back. I'm like, whatever. And uh, it, you know, she didn't mean anything negative by it. She was just being silly. But about back in September of last year, um, I get, I called my mom up and I and I asked her and I said, okay, mom, what actually happened to me? And um, she, that's when she really started telling me that I was an ectopic pregnancy. She went in the hospital, as I said, um, with um, medical complications. Actually, as she shared with me, she was bleeding. And um, they wanted to abort me, but her words were, if my baby have to die, then I will too. And when you think about that, to me, it brings to mind the scripture where Jesus said, no greater love has a man than this, than a man that would lay down a life for his friend. But in this case, it was a mother willing to sacrifice her life for a child. And in the actual birth, birth process, because see, here's the ironic thing. They were willing to perform a C-section to say, to abort me, because they would have had to. Being a tubal pr pregnancy, there's no way you would have been able to use an abortion instrument. But they were not willing to perform a c-section to save my life. You can't really describe the emotions knowing that your mother, the lady in which you spent the nine months, or in my case, the seven months, that she was willing despite all the risk to her giving birth to me, she was willing to say, my, my baby's life is more important than mine. That takes strength and courage. And really all I would be able to say is thank you, mom. Thank you. What I can say is that make sure you get all options. Do not, do not listen to the first thing that is said, oh, this baby is not viable. Make sure you have a doctor that is willing to pursue all avenues before he, he or she pronounces a death sentence, death sentence on your baby because it doesn't always have to be a death sentence. To those who support the exceptions, why is it that because I was not conceived under circumstances that you find desirable, why is it that my life is expendable to you.